And as we know, this struggle continues to escalate, but people need to understand what is going on in the history of this process. There's a discussion about Russian military border uh, buildup uh, on its border uh, with Ukraine and how this represents a terrible threat uh, uh, to Ukraine by, uh, by Russians. Uh, but there is no acknowledgement of the history uh, that took us to this place, how the U.S. overthrew, uh, uh, participated in <clears throat> facilitating the overthrow of a government in Ukraine that was friendly to the Soviet Union, nor does it talk about the history of this relationship between Ukraine and, and Russia, uh, uh, how much of Russian identity uh, comes from this place they call Ukraine, how the Russian people uh, fought uh, and, and gave tremendous, when the Soviet Union existed, gave tremendous amounts of resources to what is now called U Ukraine, to build it into what it is. And now the U.S. Uh, moving to uh, maintain the, uh, the uh, encirclement of Russia. And you have to remember that they're using NATO here too. And NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, was something that came into existence to deal with the Soviet Union or Soviet Russia, as it used to be called. And so this is an ongoing aggression. It did not just start. It's, all, it's been going on for a while, but the U.S. government uh, uh, relies on the ignorance of, uh, of the people uh, in this country and much of the world that's facilitated by people like Zuckerberg whose concern about Westernness occurred.